Hello YouTube, I would like to talk about something new today uh, The Hollow Earth, if, uh, and if you are familiar with that subject um, it's, an, it's an interesting uh, theory um, Theory would be more appropriate um, Basically claiming that the Earth is uh, hollow inside uh, The ground is only a few miles thick And inside it uh, you have another ground to stand on uh, Gravity will, instead of pulling you toward the center of the Earth It's pulling you outwards Because uh, basically the basic claim is that uh, the ground itself is the one that's causing the gravity And people outside are pulled towards the ground That means down And people inside are being pulled outward uh, Again, towards the ground and that's the part of the theory that I would like to address today. Um, other claims of it are saying that there are caves connecting the up and the down, and there is uh, air inside, and there are aliens, or uh, dinosaurs, or uh, a lot of other uh, interesting <laughs> hypotheses about uh, what's inside the Earth. But I would like to address uh, the thing about the gravity pulling you down, or up, or out. Um, according to Newtonian physics, um, the force of gravity is um, the mass of uh, the object that's being pulled times the mass of the object that is pulling you uh, times the gravitational constant of the universe divided by the square of the distance. Now, I'm not a great mathematician and not so great in physics as well. Uh, I do know the basics uh, and a little bit beyond the basics, but not that far. But I am a great programmer. And something you can do with programming is create simulations and models. So I've created a simulation of the Earth and wanted to plot uh, the forces of gravity on a point inside the Earth and to see what kind of uh, what does it total up to. I mean, if the total force is uh, significant uh, as the force outside of the Earth, that is a plausible. Uh, proof that it is possible to have a hollow earth. I'm posting uh, in the description uh, the copy of the program, it's written in uh, C++, and when I ran it, I uh, basically changed the, there is a settings there, uh, inside equals false, or inside, uh, inside equal true, and you get a force at the end of it, telling you how much force is pulling on your point. Also, gives it a uh, definition of uh, also shows you uh, in which direction uh, on the x, y, and z the axis uh, the force is being uh, derived from. And you get something that is not surprising to me at least. Uh, outside the Earth, if you are uh, about 5% of uh, the radius of the Earth outside of it, you will feel a force of about 900. I mean, uh, there are no units here in this. Uh, simulation, but it is enough to give you uh, an understanding of uh, the values that we're talking about. And again, uh, the thing with simulation is that it is not accurate, but it does give you a rough estimation. So outside of the Earth, you'll feel a force of about 900, and inside of the Earth, you will feel a force of about 10. And that is about uh, two orders of magnitude, I mean, if you wait. Uh, 100 kilos outside of the Earth, inside of the Earth you will feel a force of only one kilo. And that means you will not be able to really stand on the ground and everything will be floating around in space and uh, inner space. And you won't have uh, dinosaurs walking on the inside surface of the Earth, not to mention waterfalls or forests or anything. So basically that blows a very big hole in this hollow earth theory. If anyone wants, uh, can do the math to it, prove it uh, even further that uh, without the simulation, just doing the derivative and uh, integral and all those other uh, trigonometry brain aching math things, uh, then it, they can show uh, conclusively that the force inside the earth is the force of gravity inside the Earth is zero, no matter where you stand inside the Earth, and the force of gravity outside the Earth is uh, significantly bigger. If almost anything would be significantly bigger than zero. So, uh, 
uh, that's what I wanted to post and see ya. Well, if I'm making a video, I might as well explain uh, the program as well. Uh, basically, the idea of the program is I choose a point uh, inside the Earth or outside, it doesn't matter for it, and I choose at random a point on the surface of the Earth. I calculate uh, the distance between the two points, uh, calculate the force of gravity that point on the surface of the Earth uh, pulls uh, my original point, and add that total to the total force pulling on my point. And then I select at random another point, and another point, another point, and repeating this thing for about 10 million times. That should remove most uh, randomness errors uh, from the simulation. Obviously it doesn't remove all of them, and the simulation does have a limit, and it has a problem of uh, adding uh, floating point numbers, and add a very big floating point number to a very small, and it will just ignore the very small one. Even if you add small one a million times, it might not be any significant because uh, the way uh, the program handles floating point operations. Uh, but it does give you a pretty good uh, estimation and it works for most of the time. One problem uh, I had with this uh, simulation uh, that I had to find, but I knew I had to find this because uh, I realized there was a problem there, how to plot a uniform random point on a sphere. Several mechanisms. Uh, I found one that's uh, quite simple. And if you read the code, uh, pay attention to that because it's not as simple as it might uh, seem at first. So that's it. Uh, enjoy and uh, 